Oh, it's that time again. It's 2K Kingslayer back again with another NBA 2K19 tutorial back in the 2K film room where we break down plays, freelances, and today we're going to be looking at one of my favorite freelances in the game. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to come out and say this is my absolute favorite freelance in the entire game, the Flow Freelance, which I'm going to explain in just a minute. But before we get into it, I'm going to ask that you please look at that lower left-hand corner of your screen, please. Uh, that's my Twitter right there. Go follow me. And I'm also going to ask that you please like and subscribe if these tutorials are helpful for you. I'm trying to promote sim gameplay within the online community of 2K. So again, if that's something that you support, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. We'll be doing a lot more of these. Thank you very much. All right, so... Let's jump into talking about the Flow Freelance. I went over this freelance last year in 2K19, and I wanted to break it down a little bit more this year, but basically the three principles of the Flow Freelance you're gonna see on those little post-it notes in our film room. Uh, constant motion, so your guys are gonna be moving all the time. And if you look at that little blue sticky, that's related, okay? Um, you're gonna exhaust the defense by doing this. I noticed that I saw a lot of Gatorade symbols. I, I run a lot of games using Flow Freelance, and I, I just noticed that if you have an opponent who's not paying attention to subbing their guys in and out, you're going to see a lot of Gatorade symbols. Guys are going to be getting really tired really quickly. And then finally, you look at that little pink sticky right there. It's very much a next man up type of offense. You can plug in pretty much whoever. Uh, there's basically a role for everybody uh, in, this, in this type of offense because you're cutting... You're slashing, you're hitting three-pointers, you're getting mid-range shots. It's my favorite freelance, but let's jump into the gym and go over some of these actions. And then, of course, we're going to go online and test it out. So let's slow down what we just saw there. This is probably the simplest way you're going to score. You get that down screen there. I'm using the Maverick, so Luka Doncic gets the ball and knocks down a wide-open three-pointer. Green light. Okay. So this time we pass the ball again. We're not going to shoot though. We're going to pass around a little bit more. And we're going to knock down a three. But in a different way. So slowing that down one more time. We get it over to Luca. You could hand it off there. I chose not to. And then you have two options. On who I could pass to. I could have passed to the corner or to the wing. In that situation. So like I said so many options. To score using this. We're gonna slow down this one again. So this time we pass it off, hand it off, take that pick, and then you have a nice little mid-range jumper with Dennis Smith Jr. right there. Okay, so this time we are not gonna pass the ball off, and if you don't, you're gonna get a pick. Okay, and that's gonna to lead to that mid-range jumper right there. So one more time, we choose not to pass the ball off here. We get a pick from Luca. Move to that side, and we find Money Matthews with the mid-range. His nickname's not Money Matthews, but I just decided to call him that there. Uh, we continue here, and you're going to see a little bit different than what we did last time. So, let's see. We're going to slow it down. We get the pick, so we don't pass it off. We pass it off here. That's where Matthews had that mid-range shot last time, but if you don't have the shot, you're going to take a pick, and then you've got this nice little dump pass right here to DeAndre Jordan. Oh, but we're not done yet. No, no, no. We got a few more ways that you could score. Okay. This time, we're going to take that pick, swing it across the court, and knock down the three. One more time. So we take the pick, and our man there is going to come off of a pick from DeAndre Jordan, and he's wide open from the opposite wing. Nobody near him. And we're still not done. This is a long tutorial because there's so many ways that you can score with this offense. Okay, another three-pointer on this one. So, we're going to start off with DeAndre setting a pick for Wesley Matthews. Then he sets a second pick. Wesley Matthews is then wide open at the top of the key, and you initiate that one on the wing. That's how you get that action right there. But sometimes on the wing you get this action instead. So, it leads to a three-pointer once again, but it's a little bit different. Let's slow it down. So you're initiating from that same spot on the wing, could be the left or the right wing, doesn't matter. You get, first of all, Luca gets a pick, and then a double screen to the man in the corner who comes up 
and knocks down a three. So yeah, those are, I mean, <laughs> I probably missed some branches to be honest with you, but I know you guys want to see the online gameplay, so let's get into that right about now. We've got the Dallas Mavericks, who are super fun to use this year, by the way, against the Philadelphia 76ers, and we're going to be using this Flow Freelance for the entire game, okay? So, bada bing, right off the bat, Luka Doncic knocks, knocks it down with pretty much the easiest way to score, and that's that initial down screen. Okay, then we have that mid-range option right there. I'm gonna slow this one down a little bit. So, to get this mid-range option, again, you don't pass initially. You take that screen, and then you're gonna see your man from the opposite corner comes around a screen from your center, and Luca knocked down that nice, easy mid-range. So we're gonna take the screen option again. We get inside. This time, we kind of broke the freelance, but you're gonna see your guys just keep on moving. Remember that sticky note, it's a constant motion offense. It never stops and that's why it's my favorite freelance. So swing around here. I could have kicked it out for a three and I think that's probably what I meant to do, but kept it going despite the mistake and we get a nice easy dunk from old man Dirk Nowitzki who's like 47 years old at this point. This is probably gonna be his last season I assume. Anyway, here's another option. Pass, pass, pass again for three, and no good, but I just want to show you guys that one because that would have been very nice if that had worked out. A lot of passes. We go back to the mid-range here, and you know, like I said, you guys are, are seeing that my guys never stop moving, and regardless of whether I put my subs in or my starters, I'm scoring, okay? I'm scoring efficiently with whoever. Whoever I put out there is scoring because there are so many different options for how you can score. Even uh, Mejri, I don't even remember what his first name is, but my backup center is scoring, okay? We get inside, Dwight Powell kicks it outside, and we're just gonna start the offense over because we messed up there. Thankfully, there's time, and look at that, inside, nice and easy, another bench man scoring there and as you can see here in the fourth we are up huge it's 43 to 17 oh my goodness and there's one for the highlight reel and one we're gonna slow it down we get it inside there's the cut and he gets fouled that's just a frustration foul this one's over there was absolutely no reason he needed to foul there so we get it back to deandre jordan this one is pretty much academic at this point but just gonna show you guys more and more Options to score, outside, inside, Harrison Barnes, who has barely even been involved, and Harrison Barnes is one of the best offensive players on this team. So that just goes to show you how well this offense works. We, we get to win by 31 points, and I'm not even mocking my opponent or anything. It's just, like this was an easy 31 point victory, and it was easy because of how good this offense is. And, you know, like I said, this is it's my favorite freelance because it's beautiful basketball, it's pretty to look at, and it's just fun. It's really fun to run it. So Luka was pretty much the high man here. We're gonna show you the box score in just a second, but Luka Doncic, he had 16 and five, but if you just go down the line here, everybody's chipping in. Everybody's got their cups, but they have chipped in, unlike what Snoop Dogg said. And look at DeAndre Jordan, 20 rebounds. 2-0 in five minute quarters. Unbelievable. So we look at the team comparison now. You can see 59 points. I mean, that's a lot for five minute quarters. 63% from the field. And I didn't even shoot that well from three. I shot five for 13. Okay, free throws. Uh, I, I'm not great at getting free throws. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. That's a personal weakness of mine. So you're gonna see, I, I, that's something I gotta work on. I gotta work on the free throws, but anyway. Points in the paint, we dominated there, but two things that I do want to highlight, look at the bench points, 20 points off the bench, and look at the assists, 21 assists. You are going to get a lot of assists with this offense because it's constant passing. All right, I love passing. And yeah, guys, but I mean, what else can you really say? The proof is in the pudding. Run this offense, it flows really well, no pun intended, and hopefully, this video kind of went into a little bit more detail than last year's video. 
But yeah, guys, let me know how it works for you, and let me know what freelance you would like me to go over next in the comments section. We will be back very soon with more tutorials. Until next time, happy gaming, y'all.